I'm actually in the car right now, if you can't tell. And I'm trying not to wiggle the camera. Um, so I just got out of clinical, actually, if you can't tell. And I got a call from a friend of mine. And they were telling me that they were at work. And, um, let's do this way. They were telling me that they were at work and their boss came in and basically was just telling them that um, they were going to flush some goldfish because um, they were, he has an angel fish tank, um, I think, and they were, um, they were fighting his angel fish. And he decided that he was going to flush them and get rid of them. And so I'm like, what? <laughs> um, but he wanted to get rid of them. He said that his angel fish were much more expensive and he was tired of it. He didn't want to do it anymore. And he was going to flush them when he got home. He just was fed up. And thankfully, um, my friend was like, no, don't do that. That's mean. You can't do that. There's nothing wrong with them. Why would you want to flush them? And He's like, I can't do it anymore. I want them gone. He's like, uh, you know, wait, let me, let me call somebody and I'll get back to you. And he's like, okay. So they called me and he's like, he has some goldfish that he can't keep anymore. He's going to flush them if I don't find somebody to keep them. And he's like, you're the only one that I know that keeps goldfish and knows enough about them to care for them. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I had zero plans on getting goldfish. Absolutely no plans on getting goldfish um, right now because I'm in the process of um, putting together my new tank. So there was no plans of getting fish right now until I got the tank together and got everybody where I wanted them and then I was going to order some new fish, but I wasn't ready yet. Well, so now, it's on my conscience and I can't, I can't let him flush these fish. I just, I can't. So now, you know, today is actually my birthday and I had clinical this morning at 4.30 in the morning. So I've been at the hospital all day. It's now 1.30 and I am heading to pick up these fish because I can't let him kill them. So I have no idea what they are have absolutely no idea um all he tells me is they're small they're still young and he hasn't had them too long um to to his knowledge they're not sick they seem fine they eat um but they're just picking at his angel fish and he doesn't he's just tired of it so um he did tell me that one of them is a calico but he didn't tell me what breed they were, so I have no clue what they are. Um, so, we're going to go figure that out. Hopefully, they're okay. And um, the plan is, now, I'm just going to keep them a couple weeks and treat them with Prozzi. Keep them away from my fish. Not use anything that comes into contact with my fish. Because I don't know what they've been in contact with. They could be a carrier for something and I'm not willing to risk that. So I'm going to pick them up and put them in a quarantine tub and um, keep them a few weeks, treat them with Prozzi and then see if I can rehome them. I have no plans on keeping them right now. Um, that's not the plan for the new tank. <laughs> I haven't even got to tell y'all what the plan is for the new tank. Just haven't had time. But, um, yeah, so I am off to get them and I will see y'all shortly. So this is what I was given when I went to pick them up. Uh, they are in a deli container. Uh, the calico one is a fantail and the other is a pond goldfish. And as soon as I got them home, I put them in a 30 gallon quarantine tub. Uh, it was very obvious to me that they had flukes. Uh, they were darting around, breathing heavy. Um, so thankfully I was able to get Prozzi in there very quickly and I will continue to treat them with Prozzi for four weeks before they are rehomed. 
Um, I do have a home for the pond goldfish. One of my good friends has a pond that he is willing to put them in. The other one, not so sure yet, but um, we'll figure that out when we get to it. 